Hello my friends, Boomy here once again with another video for you, my Sotor brothers and sisters. How's everyone doing today in a galaxy far, far, far away? This is your first time on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button for all your Sotor fun news, gods, and updates right here, right now. My friends, we are on the PTS right now, yes we are, and this guy behind us, behind this character right here, is the Galactic Season Vendor. Yes, and we will do a video about that later on. Uh, well, we'll get into the vendor itself and all the jazz. But here's a here's a um, here's a sneak peek. If you want those apartments, that's the guy to see. And you gotta have yourself, you know, I think believe it's right. What seven tokens, galactic season tokens or whatnot to get that. Uh, but we will delve into that at uh, in the different videos probably this week. But let's get into some more detail into the galactic seasons that is coming our way. If you're brand new to this and you're not quite sure what they are. Consider it like a battle pass, right? You do stuff, you earn XP for it, and you get some loot from it. There it is. So, let's get into the extra detail that Bioware came out with. Here we go from David Stats. It says, I wanted to take a moment to go into some further details for Galactic Seasons and provide you all some insight into how you can expect to interact and progress through this new reward track and then answer some questions we have seen. Earning Galactic Season Points, Priority Objectives, and Login Rewards. In order to progress through Galactic Seasons, you will need to earn a new type of experience called Galactic Season Points. Earning Galactic Season Points can be done through various means, the first being through completing specific daily and weekly conquest objectives we are calling Priority Objectives, and the second being from Login Rewards. When you first log in, you will be given four Priority Objectives two daily priority objectives, and two weekly priority objectives. Daily priority objectives refresh every day, providing you with up to 14 daily pri pri priority objectives per week. Weekly priority objectives refresh themselves, you know, once a week. This means you will only ever have two weekly priority objectives per week. I guess, you know, hey, that makes sense. Priority objectives comprise of existing and new conquest objectives and can be identified by new Galactic Seasons icon. They're mentioned of Galactic Season Points, or the GSP, and should be filtered to the top of your Conquest Objective list. Completing a Priority Objective will grant the standard Conquest Points attached to the base objective. So while you're going through all, doing all this, you're doing stuff for Conquest too. So if you're big into Conquest, you're killing a couple birds with one stone with this one. They continue, Daily Priority Objectives are intended to be objectives you can complete entirely on your own. And, generally speaking, should take no more than 20 to 30 minutes per objective. I like that. I don't like drawn out, <laughs> overly long quests. I don't. I, I, I do not like them. I don't like them in real life. Just skip the BS and get right to the point. That's pretty much where I live. Uh, but I do like the idea that most of these are going to be pretty short. And, you know, it's good for those people who only have like a half an hour or an hour to play a game daily. Um, whereas there are plenty of people who have a lot of time in their hands uh, just to play. And that's totally fine, too. Our goal is that these are objectives you would most likely already be completing while working through your conquest goals. Below are some examples of daily priority objectives you may find, and these things, of course, are subject to change. Complete Corellia. Defeat enemies, two. Complete Z CZ198 is a weekly mission. Weekly priority objectives are intended to be objectives you may require assistance in completing, and generally speaking, should take no more than 50 to 70 minutes. So your weekly ones are going to be the time crunch. There you go. Below are some examples of the weekly priorities. Complete Operation in Story Mode, and Complete Unranked in Victorious 2. In addition to Priority Objectives, players may also earn Galactic Season Points through the Login Reward System by simply logging into the game any four days of the week. Ut utilizing the Subscriber Bonus Rewards Day Tracker, uh, the, the, the checkmark Login Rewards page, this point grant is available to all players regardless of the subscription status, though subscribers will earn extra Galactic Seasonal Points. Let's talk numbers, shall we? Now that we know how to earn Galactic Season Points, let's talk about the current numbers associated with each avenue, how many points you will need per reward level, and how long we plan for Season 1, the stranger from the Kabundi to last. As always, the following values are subject to change. 
As mentioned in our announcement blog for the Galactic Seasons, our current planned duration for the Galactic Seasons for Season 1 is 5 months, or roughly 150 days. Now, this is this is roughly about on track where how battle passes go for other games. Each reward level will require 8 Galactic Season points to obtain, for a total of 800 Galactic Seasonal points over the course of the season. Below are the current incomes for Galactic Season points and their avenues. Login rewards will grant on day 1. One, I'm sorry, granted on day four. Free and preferred players, you will get eight Galactic Season points per week. Subscribers, 12 Galactic Season points per week. Daily priority objectives, free and preferred players, you will get two Season points each for those. Subscribers, you'll also, you'll just get three, or not, you'll, you'll get three. Sorry, I don't know why I read it that way. Points each. And a weekly priority ones, which is, you know, this is what's going to get you a good one. Free and preferred players will get eight, and subscribers will get 12. Given these values, the subscribe player has the opportunity to earn up to 78 galactic season points per week, while free and preferred players have the opportunity to earn up to 52 seasonal galactic season points per week. This means that a subscribed player who actively participates to earn all possible points available to them per week will be able to reach reward level 100 with ample time to spare. Now then, they're going to go with some of the questions that people have frequently asked, or a couple, <laughs> on the forums. Question, will the rewards from Galactic Seasons only be available during that specific season? Answer, Rewards from Reward Track are intended to be only, only, I'm sorry, I can't read, to only be available during their specific season. Items found on the Galactic Seasons vendor will rotate in and out over time, including items relating to the rewards from Reward Track, i.e. alternative colorings or skins of the seasonal mounts. Next question, does this mean seasons won't be a one-time thing, but will be recurring? Uh, yes, because this person didn't pay attention. Yes, our plan is that Galactic Season will be recurring feature moving forward i don't know why they they just didn't read <laughs> it's, it's a thing it's not a one-time thing y'all question can we obtain previous or existing operation or war zone rewards from galactic seasons and or uh the galactic seasons vendor no war zone and operation rewards are tied to the effort put forth in those activities you should not expect to see any of the rewards from previous or current war zone or operations explicitly in galactic seasons or the galactic seasons vendor those rewards are and will continue to be specific to those activities and for that i am really happy they did that because i know if they hadn't done that there would have been uh, pitchforks and torches, let me tell you, it would not have been pretty. Question, will you be increasing the cap for strongholds? A, we are currently investing in this, investigating this. Stay tuned. We hope you enjoyed the Galactic Season on the PTS and look forward to discussing it with you further. Well, there you have it, my friends. More details about the Galactic Seasons. Now, let's give you a little tidbit on what those what that you know the thing looks like so we go open our rewards there it is your login reward but over here is your galactic season as well and you have all these levels now these things right here the rewards are just placeholders that's all they are your daily priority objectives you know it's this thing is tied to strongholds it is what it is unfortunately i'm not a big fan of that but hey party on it, just just do what you got to do, I guess, right? Hey, it's going to be great. Anyway, so guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about Galactic Seasons. Have you been on the PTS? Have you been enjoying testing this new system out? What are you looking forward with the system? What do you like about the system? What questions do you have about the Galactic Seasons thing? I will send those questions in my report to BioWare. Uh, for you guys to do that so you know you can skip a lot of the stuff in the forums i'll just set, i'll just directly send it to bioware for you guys uh but yeah let me know all your thoughts so far i'm actually enjoying my time on the pts i haven't tested too much on it i was having issues getting on it and then just real life got busy so i apologize for that uh but yeah i'm looking forward to getting deeper into the pts and playing around with this uh galactic seasons uh doohickey and uh, i really kind of i do hope this you know does become a very cool thing in the game i you know i agree with a lot of people the login rewards is kind of meh it is it's there it is what it is but i'm glad that this this is here 
the galactic season here because because it gives other things for people to chase some new armor for people to chase and new other things and lore as well if you're subscribed for people to chase and i'm a big fan of that oh yeah you get another companion not that we don't need another companion we all have like what thirty thousand companions by now it's great our strongholds are just getting really crowded at this point everyone's going to have to have their own ship you know at, if this continues on this way ah <sighs> it's really sad anyways my friends do what you gotta do hit the like button the more likes we get the better the algorithm likes us and the more easier it is for people to find us and make sure you hit the subscribe button become part of the family here at booming nation the freak show of youtube the black sheep of gaming and as always my friends remember to be kind it's about community and don't forget to spay and new to your wookies and we'll see you later my friends good day